Hey, what's up guys? It's the number one Pred here, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is my first DNA bomb. Finally! Finally! This took me a goddamn long time. And I'm going to give you a few stats before I went into this game. Here is what, what the medals I had. So I had about 100 Bloodthirsties, about 30 Mercilesses, uh, about 5, 10 Ruthlesses, and 1 Relentless. No Brutals and no Viciouses. So I, the highest medal I came into this game wa uh, with was a Relentless, and only one of them. Only one. So I'm, I was kind of embarrassed with that as well. I was thinking, oh gosh, I've got to pick up because I can't even break a 25 gun streak or kill streak. Kill streak. And I'm not going to lie, a kill streak like, like a Vicious or something like that, that's not even easy to get itself. I mean, the kill streaks are awful in this game. They are ridiculously terrible. I mean, in this game, it take me like on its own without getting kills on the flags and stuff like that. It would have took me about 15, 16 gun streaks, something like that. But a paladin that would have took, taken me a 20 gun streak or something like that alone. So it's it's just stupid because a 20 gun streak. Say if I wasn't to play the objective or defend the flag or whatnot, like I am here. A paladin would have taken me 20 gun kills, and guess how many kills I got during the paladin? Three. I got three kills, so I sped up the paladin. I still kept it in just so you guys could see some gameplay of it, but it is awful. And I was just using the bomber run, which is actually all right. It's better. Than, I got exactly the same amount of kills with the bomber run as a paladin, which is supposed to be the highest kill streak in the game, and it is awful. The bomber run is actually a pretty decent streak, actually. Um, if you stick an extra bomber on it, it gives you more damage and it's more likely to get more kills. But it's just like a, it's just stupid how hard the kill streaks are and how how hard they are to get and how bad they are. It's just not that thing needs like sorting out. It needs a patch. Uh, I reckon kill uh, game modes like domination, hardpoint, momentum, stuff like that. The kill shouldn't be 50. They should be about uh, 75 or something. So it balances it out a little bit um, because 50 is too low for something like a UAV taking like a 15 gun streak I mean come on it's usually like a 3 or 4 kill streak in other CODs and it's just boosted up to a 15 for whatever reason uh, obviously with the upgrades of course but I mean enough about the rant let's get straight into the gameplay so I was using the BAL 27 with the foregrip, the stock and the extended mags it's a really 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 good gun guys if I was you I'd hop on Advanced Warfare or next time you hop on it use the BAL because I promise you guys it will be patched very very soon because by far it is the best gun in the game and there's no doubt about it, it just melts, it's bet look I got so lucky here by the way oh my god that guy had the laser gun, oh my, if he could have got me then but he was just he was just terrible so I got lucky with that, I got really lucky with a guy with a laser gun, he couldn't kill me however much he tried because the laser guns aren't very good in this game I wouldn't really recommend using them, they seem to like kick a lot and uh, they're not that powerful, but uh, back to what I was saying. The bow, it it's got really, really, really strong power, a really high fire rate, and it's got like really good accuracy. So it just just beats everything. Honestly, it's such a good gun, and you guys really need to use it because I, I I'm still promising you guys it will be nerfed very very soon. So what I'm going to be doing is abusing the hell out of it, just so I can get the most of it while it's still like a beast. So expect more battle gameplays if I do get more DNA bombs. I'm not going to promise anything. There's my brutal medal there, by the way. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much you know it about the battle. It's like a really good gun. The score streak loadout, which I pretty much touched up upon, but it was the UAV, the bombing run, and the paladin. Uh, I wasn't actually going for a DNA bomb this game. I was actually going for a vicious because um, it was kind of embarrassing, as I said earlier, that the highest medal I got was a relentless. I mean, that's just pretty, pretty bad. I tried to keep that to myself, but um, yeah. So I was going for a vicious, and if I was to go for a DNA bomb, I'd use a system hack as well as the uh, UAV, and those would be the only two non-lethal score streaks. But uh, yeah, so I get it when I was not expecting it, so I was really happy about that. Uh, I was playing on the map Solar, and actually before this game, I really didn't like this map for domination. For momentum, it actually does seem really good, because the spawns are really good. I go ham to get the DNA bomb here, punch, get smacked, bitch! And I chase these guys in here. The laser gun guy almost kills me going into the building, and uh, I go, I see a guy running into the tube. Come on, quick, get him, get him! 
and ba boom there's the DNA bomb so guys please please smash that like rating down below I'm really really happy about this gameplay and uh, yeah if you guys haven't subscribed to me already make sure you do more beast content coming its way have an awesome day guys and I'll see you in the next one